It has been exactly one week since 11-year-old Josue Flores was killed as he walked home from school. An emotional and difficult day for an entire community as Josue was laid to rest. He never made it home last Tuesday, so the funeral procession took him home today, stopping for a final family photo before then continuing on to his final resting place. Josue's killer still has not been found, and now there's an open message to that killer. You will never find peace. Our Robert Arnold covered the boy's murder a week ago. He's back at the scene tonight. Robert? This is a crime that has affected our entire city, and there's no clearer image of that than in the people who are visiting this memorial. They are not just from this neighborhood or the surrounding communities. People from all over Houston are coming here to pay their respects. What could he have done? A question police are trying to answer and a neighborhood is trying to understand. How could anyone attack and murder a child? I have an 11 year old and a 10 year old and I also have an 8 year old and I can't imagine what this mom is going through. Each candle, balloon, stuffed animal and painting left here is an individual expression of grief. The image of a smiling Josue Flores on the minds of so many. We talked about it sometimes at school because we were like, uh -huh, I mean, this could happen to any of us. Flores was laid to rest Tuesday. Hundreds attended the funeral at the Holy Name Catholic Church. A mariachi band helped lift spirits, but ever present is the reminder a killer is on the loose. And sometimes I have to walk home from school, and sometimes, like, since my mom, she gets scared. Now that, like, if I hook off from school, something bad will happen to me. Amidst the grief, there is also resolve from a community that will never stop searching for justice, a thought seen on this poster. To Josue's killer, you will never find peace, you will never forget this innocent face, you will always be haunted by what you did. He was just playing in the puddles, playing on the gates, doing nothing to anybody, and that is so sad. There is a $15,000 reward being offered for information as to who killed Josue Flores. Police are asking if you know anything. Call HPD's Homicide Division or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live from North Houston, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Robert. Here's a look at a description of Josue's killer, an African-American male, 25 to 30 years old, between 180 and 200 pounds, short hair. At the time, he was wearing a black shirt, a green jacket over his shoulders, and black trousers.